here at the Porsche factory in Leipzig, one of the most innovative car factories in the world. The technology isn't just going into the cars, it's also helping workers do their job. The tech here ranges from the mundane looking to the mind blowing. And to talk me through it is Porsche's ergonomic specialist, Anna Heinrich. At Porsche, uh, the human is in the center of attention. That's why ergonomics is part of our strategy to uh, optimize all workplaces at our plant. It supports uh, the quality and the function, but uh, especially uh, it supports the health of our employees. Some of the equipment looks deceptively simple. Fortunately, Anna is on hand to explain the deeper significance. Okay, so these guys look like they're in office chairs. D describe, describe what they're doing. Of course, it's, it's no uh, standard office chair. It's a special chair uh, for working under the car. It uses the strain and shoulder neck, and you have the tray for uh, the tools and for some yeah. parts. And uh, the chair has uh, smooth rolling uh, rolls. So they can sort of dash from one area to the other, or even to a different car. And it's pretty easy. Yeah. Elsewhere, the tech is much more impressive, rotating the entire chassis of each car so workers don't have to raise their arms above their heads. It's uh, definitely easier for me to work not uh, with the head up, so I can uh, have not to put my arms to the to, uh, high, and I can uh, work more in front of my body, and it's much more easier. I have more power to put the stuff inside the car. And when I see my other older colleagues, I, I think I can work still much longer here in this facility, maybe the next three decades or, yeah. Helping employees work later into their lives is key for factories across the country. Germany's birth rate is one of the lowest in the world, and immigration alone isn't enough to replace skilled workers lost to retirement. Together with rising life expectancies and the aging of the baby boomer generation, uh, the, the population is aging and the workforce is aging as well. So if Germany can't uh, deal successfully with an aging workforce, then productivity and innovation is at stake because uh, we need older workers um, to work successfully um, and to, to grow the economy and to be, keep uh, innovating. So how much of a difference can technology really make for the average factory worker? I'm about to find out. I don't feel like I could lift more, but I could do something a thousand times. And I think I could probably just hold my arms up for half an hour if I wanted to. It doesn't even feel like anything. Okay, so I may not have magically become Iron Man or even a half-decent production worker, but it soon became clear that this technology would provide much needed support if I were doing this job all day long. So when I lift this, I don't feel like I have superhuman strength, but it's also easy for me to do this repetitively. So, you know, in a sense, is that the point of having this technology? Yeah, right. That's the goal of our uh, exoskeleton, to make the working lives uh, much easier for the employees. The objective here is to take the strain off employees, regardless of their age. As other countries face the challenge of aging workforces, it's a philosophy that could keep our workers and our economies moving.